Jones, David Icke, Ron Paul, still alive, people like that. Why are you still alive, A, and B, at the very highest level of human control on this planet? And of course, the elite believes they're interfacing with these dark entities. Uh, and that's what all the religions say. But the point is, and when you say it, though, you're kooky and bad because you have a different angle on it, uh, according to the mainstream media. Why are we still alive, A? And then B, at the human level, what is the highest secret society order? Who is the most evil person on Earth? Well, on the second, I, I, don't, I don't think we know because they don't put themselves in public display. I mean, I think at the core of the core of the core, where I say they directly interact with these entities that are described in every ancient culture and every religion has them, demons, archons, uh, uh, jinn, whatever you are. They, they don't put themselves on public display, but the House of Rothschild is absolutely right up there. Um, and uh, they are a, a major, major uh, influence. Um, and what they've done brilliantly through the 20th century to now is taken the in-your-face control. They've increased their control, but they have hidden it so that the Rothschilds are a kind of a faded force. They're not. They're right up there. And I love the thing, Alex, about uh, are we still, uh, why, why are you still alive? I mean, what ultimate defeatism? People said to me over the years, um, if you were genuine, you, you, you'd be dead. All right. So the only genuine uh, conspiracy researcher is a dead one, right? So we, we, we don't have the feeling that actually we can we can take the power to take the system on and be effective against the system because we don't think the system is, is all bloody powerful. No, no. Oh, no. No, no. It is all powerful. Therefore, you would be dead. They wouldn't let you do this. Well, there are other forces at work as well. You know, we, we, we look out. Um, in this tiny frequency range we call visible light, which is barely, barely uh, you know, uh, existing. Um, and we think that everything we see and the human form on Earth is the only one that exists and it's the only reality. There are multiple infinite realities. Uh, religions talk about them in their own way. And, and there are many, many um, levels of reality that are working to bring an end to what's happening in our in our reality in our in our world, and and they are protecting uh, people who who are, are willing to to do what is necessary to expose all this and make a difference. They are protecting uh, them, um, and and therefore it is not as easy as oh we saying something we don't like bang bang. It's not, uh, and you know. We've got to get over this defeatism that only a, a dead researcher is a genuine researcher. See, he was telling you the truth. He's, they've killed him now. I mean, where are we going with this? If that's what we believe and that's what we feel, well, put your hands out and I, let's get the chains on now because it's over. Well, I was about to say, this is a cognitive dissonance, Cass Sunstein type idea that we can't win. Anybody who's successful is bad. You're, you're yeah. just saying humanity is, is crap when history shows us the opposite. And, and it's only, uh, tyrants only flourish when good men and women do nothing. And, and what are people saying who are saying there's nobody good who's standing up? They're saying they're crud as well. Because I always say, okay, let's just say I'm bad, which I'm not. I mean, I'm pure of heart. I, I'm not a perfect person, but I really do love people. I really do wanna have a better world. I want our species to go to the stars. I. I mean, I, I, I'm a fan of man. I'm a fan of humanity. I believe in humanity. And then these people just say, oh, no, you, you couldn't be successful, you know, without the New World Order. Okay, fine then. I'm bad. Don't use the fact that I'm bad as an excuse for you to not take action. You know you're supposedly good, and everybody else is a bad New World Order. Come on, stand up and take action. Instead of just spending all day attacking everybody else that's trying to do something. And then you find out, oh, they're the operatives. They're the cognitive dissidents. They're the COINTELPRO. And the good news is people have gotten wise to that. And I've seen yeah. all the attacks I've gone through, you've gone through, and others have gone through, has actually just become advertising for us. I mean, in a way, the enemy is stupid. I mean, I guess they're fighting an old game where people were on, in a trance state, but people are not in a trance state anymore. At least those that are awake aren't. And the folks that are still in a trance, I'm sorry, they're not even on the game board here. They, it is, they're spectators. I mean, I'm in the arena and I have come to wake some people up. The thing that people need to understand more than anything else 
is all this conspiracy, all this enslavement. It is not a bloody game. It's real. And if we don't uh, focus on that and focus our lives on it, we're going to regret it for the rest of our lives. David, David, let me interrupt you just for a moment, and then I want you to continue on this line, because it's not that I'm mad at my detractors. Uh, again, they actually help us get the word out in a weird way. That's how the universe works. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. But I want them to develop to the next level, and I see them more as like hobbyists who think that if they spend all their time critiquing other people who are awake and involved, that somehow it's like a scalp, that if they've bashed David Icke or they've bashed Alex Jones or they've told us, you know, that, oh, they're really, a, a, you know, an agent or they're scum, when obviously you're not an agent and I'm not an agent, if you have any discernment, you know that. The globalists hate what we're doing, th that, that somehow it makes them big men and women. And it, it just makes me so sad for them. So it, it hurts me, but not in a way that they think it's hurting me. It's so pathetic. Briefly, your comment on that. Well, yes. I mean, there's some great uh, information gets circulated on various uh, forums, but so often um, it, they just become a, a vehicle for many people of, of hurling abuse in all directions. And, you know, the, the word hobby, I think, is very significant because it is like a hobby. It is like an add on to people's lives. And it, we're dealing with a situation where it has to become the focus of people's lives. If, if anyone's got children and grandchildren, if you, and you say, oh, I just want to do b the best for my children. Well, th this has got to be the focus of your life then, if, if that's your, your motivation. Not an add-on, not an, oh, it is slightly interesting, and certainly not um, just um, winning points over, I see it all the time. See, I know more about this conspiracy than you do. It says bong bong posting, so you know, or whatever on a, on a, on a forum. Uh, and they're just uh, playing at it. It's a playground at that level. And we need adults, not children, involved. And uh, I just ask them, please look around you. Look at what's happening. Stop being uh, a juvenile and Start being an adult so you can actually make a difference instead of it exactly. being just a, 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 an add on to your life and a bit of fun and a bit of bit of a hobby. This is not a game. <laughs> this is real. And uh, if we don't treat it as such and focus on it as such and support each other as such, then we're going to regret it for a very long time. Exactly. I mean, uh, pediatric cancer, some of them are up 10,000 percentage points. I go out in public and there's kids with shaved heads with, with chemo injectors on their arms everywhere. I mean, they're murdering us. Yeah. And, 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 and you know what? I'm here trying to wake people up. And I know a lot of them are operatives, but others are just screwed up people. And it's like sick. It's like, wow. Yeah. You know, we've got, yeah. this is real. I'm putting my life on the line. You are. We know how, this is not a game. I got chills when you said that. Truer words have never been said. Yeah, I, I mean, and, you know, all you can do is try to get these people to see what they're doing. You know, they, they, they think they're so informed, uh, a lot of them. See, I know more than you do. Well, how informed are you? Let me ask a question. Apart from making uh, attacks on people on, on forums and stuff like that, what do you actually do to make a difference? Because if you really knew what was happening and what is planned, then your focus would be on making a difference, not lambasting someone and winning brownie points in some intellectual bloody nonsensical game that they play. You would see that we have to, we have to focus on this and make it the focus of our lives. David, so if you're not doing that, don't tell me you understand the conspiracy because you clearly don't. Exactly. I mean, I'm throwing everything I got against him and I feel like dirty rags that I'm not doing more and then when I see them in the end fighting and all of it, it makes me so sad because we need their energy to fight the, 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 uh, the, uh, the darkness. That's what we're going to call this piece tonight. Uh, David Icke, this is not a game. Uh, very powerful. The thing is that when people are in ignorance of what's happening in the world and what the agenda is and where they want it to go, I have some sympathy when they do nothing because they do not 
believe there's anything to be done. When I see people who often for not their own efforts, but the efforts of others, have seen what um, the agenda is, seen what uh, they want to uh, impose upon the world, see what they're imposing now, and their only response is to attack and undermine those that are putting their head above the trench and, and making a difference. Well, I say to those people, go and find your children and grandchildren, look them in the eye and justify, given what uh, world they're going to live in if, we, if, we, if, they, if it reaches the end that they want, um, far beyond what we've got now even, far, far beyond. And you tell, you justify to them attacking and trying to undermine, often exploit those who are trying to make a difference. That ignorance, therefore no action, I can understand. Uh, knowing what's uh, at least a, a good part of what's happening and then seeking to undermine those who are trying to expose it, that turns my stomach. And one day, one day when they wake up, it will turn their own. Yeah, it's bad luck. My gut just tells me those people have no idea what they're buying into. No. Uh, because when you know the truth and decide to join evil, that is the ultimate sin. David Ike, our interviews just get better and better over the years. And I know you're a busy man. I appreciate you joining us every few months. And Pleasure. I look forward to having you back on soon, davidike.com. I, I have to say, I've been saying this every interview in the last few years, but this is our best interview so far. I mean, be honest in your gut. Don't you feel like this is the best interview so far? Well, I think, Alex, that what, we're, what what's happening is, is we're all learning more. We're all becoming more aware. And therefore, you know, you become... Uh, closer and closer to to understanding what needs to be said and what needs to be done. And, you know, we must go on doing that. You know, I, I see people over the years at various conferences and I, I've seen them make presentations and ah, that's very nice. Yes, that's interesting. Thing, yeah. And I've seen them 10 years later making the same presentation. I'm, I'm thinking, what have you been doing? The cutting edge has to constantly move, and uh, and it's moving very, very fast now. It's great, great time to be alive. It certainly is. Well, David, thank you for the time, and I look forward to speaking to you again in the future. Cheers, Alex. All right, folks, there goes David Ike. Uh, we're almost an hour long, and uh, just 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 amazing. And you you can say what you want about David Ike. But he gets people thinking, and he's doing a lot of good, and that's what we need. He is good at getting people outside the box. And I ask, you know, any critics out there who aren't in the arena, what have you done to wake people up? Because we know this world is going in the wrong direction. Great job with the crew. Another extended edition of InfoWars Nightly News. Lord willing, we'll see you back here tomorrow night, 7 o'clock Central, and I'll see you on the radio, 11 a.m. Central. For the radio show, InfoWars.com, PrisonPlanet.tv. Until then, bon voyage.